Good evening, and uh, welcome to the Finance Committee meeting for Wareham for Thursday, May 18th, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. And we're in room 27 of Wareham Town Hall, and I'd like to call the meeting to order and ask the clerk to call the roll. Uh, we have Jody Smith, Tom Worthen, <laughs> welcome, <laughs> Julie Moran, Gerald Stefanski, myself, Matthew Rose, and Norma Scoby. All right. All right. So this is going to be a somewhat uh, briefer meeting than we had thought when we first decided to do this on this particular evening. I do not have a warrant for a June 12th special town meeting because it, it was uh, never served because that meeting has been postponed, as I think everybody knows by now. I do not know anything about rescheduling of the meeting, uh, except I think it will happen by a uh, fall town meeting, if not sooner, I suspect sooner. Um, but apparently there was a, a mistake detected in the uh, the vote to open the meeting and open the warrant, and uh, it was too late to resolve the problem once it was discovered. So, we are not hearing from anybody from the Sewer Commission. Um, we do have a couple of other things to talk about, and so I thought it was worthwhile to have the meeting, and we're not going to be having weekly meetings or anything close to that for a while. Um, so the first thing, so we're skipping B, the discussion and possible vote, but let's start with the approval of minutes. Yeah, so don't skip anything. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody will get in trouble for doing that. Somebody catch me if I do. Uh, so item A on the agenda uh, is approval of minutes from May 3rd, yeah. 2023. I, I sent those out by email. Uh, any, I, any? I move we approve the minutes of May 3rd, 2023. Second. The missing from that meeting was uh, Dom and Julie. Okay. So everyone else can who's here can v vote. Uh, is there any, any discussion? Yeah, Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. Roll, roll call Mark. vote. Jody? Yes. Tom? Yes. Yes. Cheryl? Myself? Yes. Yes. So it passes. Uh, five zero one. Skipping down to uh, item C, discussion of printing proposal for future town meeting reports. As we discussed at our last meeting, that's a really substantial cost. It's gone way up over the years. Our last um, town meeting report in April was $16 a copy, and most of them seem to go straight to recycling if they're picked up at all. And so we're trying to look at ways that we can save some money. We now no longer have the dilemma of not having any money left in the budget for this fiscal year for the June 12th meeting. Um, but we've got, we'll have meetings coming up in the next fiscal year that we need to be concerned about. So um, Matt was uh, kind enough to go look for better prices. And why don't you tell us what you found? Um, so I, I ran around with a couple of options that uh, school doesn't do them anymore. Uh, school doesn't have a printing shop anymore. Upper Cape. So it, upper Cape. So we can't use Upper Cape for it. Um, another printing shop that was recommended is no longer in operation. Um, and of course, we always have Gateway down here on Main. I went down there, I mean, I'll tell you right now, they're quoting us out for a warrant the size of the one that we just had. Um, black and white uh, for 200 copies, $699. Color, 1,452. How many copies? That's 200. 200 copies? Yeah, if we do 250, black and white would be 873. Color would be 1,815. Goodbye, Staples. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost half of what we paid. Right, that's right. Staples. Wow. That's right. Well, uh, the only thing is, is they require a one, at least a oh, one week you. lead time. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so we would have to side. either have the warrants done a week earlier than we always have, because it won't be to the printer over the weekend. It would have to be. This is we can head schedule. Okay. If we want them all physical <laughs> copies, if we can do just posting it online, and maybe a couple of physical copies, then we can have the shorter lead time going up to the meeting. Um, so it, that's what we have to play with on that end. But it almost seems. Yeah, who's ever late for getting us the video? 
warn on time pays pays the difference. Yeah. I mean, uh, 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 just so you, uh, Don, the numbers for Gateway for the because I tried the shop that you re you mentioned, yeah. they appear to be closed. Okay. Um, and of course, you as you pointed out, the school doesn't use the, the shop anymore. Yeah, they they they. He says the shop is there, but they don't use it. I haven't talked to Roger whether or not, you know, he would get somebody to print it up, but I will ask him. We'll see him this weekend. Well, I got a quote from Gateway uh, over here on Main Street. Yeah. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, we, we should have been going there. Um, we should be? We should. Oh, good work. 200 black and white, $699. Uh, color, 1452 Two hundred and fifty in black and white, eight seventy three. Color one thousand eight fifteen. Who's the black and white? Who cares about color? It's, well, it's less than we just paid thirty eight. We just paid thirty eight hundred dollars to Staples for two hundred twenty five. Yeah, oh. and had to scramble at the end with the issues there. Right. Yeah, oh. and I this mean, is I missed the lead time. What? What? How far in advance? They they, 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 they want they want, a, they want a week to two weeks, but they they can work with a week, but yeah. they want a longer lead time, and that's where that's the only complication I see on our end. Mm -hmm. So if uh, town meetings on Monday. They'd have to have it that Monday before. They'd have to have it. For well, week. if we have to have all the copies, then we'd have to have it two weeks before. And Correct. that is tricky because we don't always have all the information in that, that time frame. We used to use them years ago. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's something we can figure out. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just, think we just, could. Right. Well, we'll have to work, figure out the logistics, but mm -hmm. we can do that with the next meeting and figure it all out right. with the next well, meeting. Oh, regardless, I think it's a great idea. I just yeah. look, look at the lead time. Right. Just try to get as much info when there is possible. The other thing if is. If you had to do a handout that supplement. night. Yeah, that's right. Right. Well, uh, and that's so the other thing. If we have to do a supplement for the warrant itself, that's one thing. But if it's coming from a petitioned article, the petitioner yeah. should be held responsible for making their own handouts for that That's article, mm -hmm. rather than taking up the paid space sure. uh, on the town budget. Right. So the report we hand out at town meeting, we're going to say the petitioners have to have the handouts. We're not going to put them as part of the. Well, they'll be in the warrant. Committee. If it's going to be, if, if the information that they need for the warrant will be in the warrant, but if it's in anything. Above Extra. and beyond that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. If like a map or something. Yeah. If they example, want to I'm provide, exactly. it, as, yeah. as did happen actually at the last <clears throat> if they want to provide something more, I think it's fair to have the, the burden on them to Correct. produce if that. Correct. Mm. Right. The town, we shouldn't be paying to, to print everybody's. No, no, I agree. I'm just, so just that, asking. And that's, yeah. Right. And that, yeah. that's my take on that. Just asking. Yeah. No. So, I'm trying, to think, excuse me, I'm trying to think back. We used to use them all the time. And I believe something happened, and that's why they went looking elsewhere. Something wasn't done on time. Don't don't hold me to yeah. it, but I'm talking like eight or ten years ago. Something happened because we used to use them all the time, back you know when I started. Something happened. That's why someone went looking elsewhere. But give them a second chance. I, I think they I, had some. You know, they were on out on Cranberry Highway yeah, before they moved downtown. Yeah, and I think maybe they got yeah, sold, too. Problem. I don't think the original guys there anymore. Something happened, anyways. It's all, you know, let's... They've been, the chance, they yeah. were really great with uh, when I went in there. They were very quick, to, you know, I, I had, uh, to get me a quote and, and, a, and a good price. And, um, and these aren't going to be just printed staples. <coughs> these are going to be done on 11 by 17, folded in half, and then with the uh, staples on the no, center. Go for so it. they're actual right. booklets. Book, not, which is, no. is easier for people yeah. to use anyway, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, we don't have to decide anything on this now, but we have that information, and we definitely need to keep that in mind. And, we, and to some extent, it would be a good thing if we do have a special just on the sewer that gives us a chance to try them out. Local Absolutely. business, man. and it's a local business, and, and that's and that's exactly yeah, it. And that's my yeah, biggest exactly. thing. Yeah, yeah, agreed. That's yeah. my biggest thing is they are local and they are willing to work. And there are other departments in town that are using them. Is currently. it still a father son thing? Did you sense? I don't. I think the father's gone now. I think he? just the son's running. I think that could have been. Yeah, that, issue I, way back one or something. There were two people up in the back room and a young gentleman up front, uh, younger gentleman up front, and he was the one that been there a long time. that did it, and then he brought it back to the printers. And they're the ones that got, uh, got us the quote. So, but yeah, it's definitely very. I mean, I, they're, they're my, I think there were only two people in the building when I went in. Um, and like I said, I think that would be my only concern would be the lead time going up to the printing, 
So it's a matter of what we need. We'll have to engage all the departments to say, hey, yeah. we're going to save a lot of money. Help us. Yeah, and to save that kind of money, right. well, we can we're do going that. to have to adapt yeah. a little bit. That's I mean, right. That, that's well, I mean, and the truth is we usually do have a, our part all done Correct. that far in advance. <laughs> it will also be upon, incumbent upon us to get our recommendations written up maybe a little sooner than we have been and that sort of thing. But I Wouldn't think if we plan yeah. ahead, we'll be okay. Now, we usually try to plan our dates accordingly, so yeah. we'll just have to make sure that mm -hmm. this is our date, it's we're sticking to it, and yeah. call it in. Yep. <laughs> well, that's great work. Anybody else yeah. have comments? Yeah, just, did you ask them for a price? I know you said folding it in half. Did you ask them how much just to do a staple copy? I, the way they're doing it, it's the type of paper that they're using. It's a text paper, and they're doing a lug by 17 folded, so it, the price isn't coming on. Probably it saves money. The paper. Paper. You know, it doesn't save anything. I mean, that's... I went to a trade school that when they did have printing. Uh, right, but they're printing yeah, on, on... I've done a lot of booklets both ways. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't, I, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I could ask yeah, him. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm when he read... Better than the other if it's... When, yeah, like I said, when he read the price off to me, I was like, um, I don't need to try to figure out getting going down after what we just paid. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like that, that's... That's very doable. And he knew, he knew, he knew what he was, what we were looking for. You know, he actually had a copy. I handed him a copy of the last warrant as a reference to what we needed. And like I said, he used to do them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That company did them for years. Yeah. Was there a significant stack of reports that were not touched after the meeting? Oh, yeah. Cases. Bernie carried out cases. Bernie, Bernie cases. said two yeah. cases he took cases. out. Cases. Uh, yeah. Wish we could. Cases. You know. I would love to hear from, from residents and whether what they think, what the residents and what they think we should do for that. Right. I yeah. mean... Because yeah. we are literally, we're, we're blowing through them. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I also want to get comfortable with what is required of us. Exactly. I think it's, there's many pages you can eliminate. I, you can, I, I, think I, I, I think you can cut it down by a third. I would, I would be surprised yeah. if you can't. And, and that I, would bring the price down. It may even bring the lead time down. That's, that's very true, too. Good point. You know, in a perfect world, I mean, it would be nice just to, you know, flash drive is, is cheaper than probably yeah. printing out one yeah. booklet. But if you had, Nobody wants to sit there with a computer on their lap. Well, some people do, but a lot of people don't. <laughs> I, I know I don't. I'm just saying yeah. for an example. If you sit there with a table or something, but uh, yeah. yeah I mean. I, unfortunately, I don't think that's a good solution. But um, no, I don't but I do think I, I do think we need to be real about how how few people yeah. actually do mm -hmm. keep a copy. Or take if a you copy. are putting the key pages up right on the screen, how many people are going to bother to? Feel a need to get the whole package. Yep. Another question: Is there a maximum or a limit that we need to print? It seemed like Bernie printed a lot. Do, well, how many I think, do we really need, Bilma? I think it it we it partly depends on what's going on at the meeting and what we anticipate the attendance to be. Because I think he's going to be smaller. He actually had was right on the money as to how many people attended. Uh, this last yeah, meeting, yeah, okay. and, and everybody could have a copy, but obviously not everybody wanted one. Right, because mm -hmm. he printed 225, and we had about 400 for the Swift speech thing mm -hmm. at the beginning, but yeah. then a lot left. Right, and, so and there were still two cases so, left. Yeah. So those people didn't take them; they only well, came for that well, one they article. Well, yeah. Are they shared? Yeah, I saw yeah. a lot of couples share. But then, get, yeah. but then you get something like with the, the notice where we had the meeting out here in the field, where yeah. you know we had 2,000 people show up. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. that's going to happen. So, yeah. I mean, it all depends. It's about 800. 800. We had a huh? It wasn't 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> was, was I think it was 1,000. Yeah, it was over 1,000, yeah. yeah. I, I exaggerate a little bit, but it was over 1,000. That's still <laughs> impressive. That's meeting, what we should have at every meeting. Biggest meeting I ever went to. I know, I know we don't want to think about it, but that's what we should have at every meeting. We should have over this meeting in 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. If we're going to have a town meeting government. You're not going to get that. What's that? Yeah. We should, I mean, it's important. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not so arguing that at all. Yeah. The, the only other thing would be to go back to Staples and say. Suspension I've ever seen in my life. I mean, because you, you. I mean, just. In a, I'm just thinking. I fair. I'm not suggesting we do it. I'm just saying, to be totally fair. You'd Honestly, say, I've been thinking the same thing. My, the only. The only thing reason I haven't gone over is because they run on a a, a corporate system. Right. Yeah. Great. So they have to go with their pricing charts. Right. Well, they ought to know. <laughs> but, but they're also not going to miss our business. Mm -hmm. really. No. That, oh, no. They don't. Yeah. No. Um, all right. Anything else on the printing? I think we've covered that pretty well. So uh, the, 
The last item I have listed is discussion of matters for future finance committee inquiry. And Tom, we sort of cut you off at the end of the last meeting. You that's, sure did. And I apologize. <laughs> um, but, See, now, but now is your chance. Oh, motion to adjourn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> um, but, but before we get to your things, um, I did want to bring up one thing um, that came to my attention yesterday, and I just want everyone to be aware of it and get your thoughts. Um, I received an email saying that there's going to be an advisory group to talk about the 20-year comprehensive wastewater management plan. And this is, seems to be, uh, it, it's a little bit of a mystery, but it seems to be led by the engineering firm that has been doing work for the sewer. Um, as I asked around about it, really almost nobody had heard anything, including our uh, dearly departed Bernie Pigeon Sewer Commissioner. Um, I did talk to Derek because in my other conversations it seemed that this really should fall under his purview uh, because they're asking for participation by certain town departments. Um, his feeling was this is a good thing to do. Um, it, it will involve a meeting about every two months to talk about where we are and what we need to do in the, in the future in terms of our um, wastewater management. I personally feel like we need to be doing exactly that kind of thing, and I am willing to attend these meetings, but I wanted to just throw it out here and get your thoughts, input, et cetera. Do you, do you think when they do this advisory board, they might ask for a member of the finance committee? They did ask. That. That's okay. why I okay. got okay. it. Okay. Oh, no, no, I, I wasn't sure if they asked. And yes. What other departments should they ask for? Do you have any idea? I don't know, but the first meeting is supposed to be next week, so I would get more information or whomever. I haven't heard anything either. Yeah, I think this may be a recently hatched idea. Um, I don't know that it's going to have any, any teeth in terms of the ability to uh, create change or make proposals from our standpoint and maybe we that's not really our role anyway but it would give us information and I I guess one feeling that I have is we as a finance committee sometimes don't hear about really big things until it's a desperate situation a lap, yeah. and we have to m make a decision because we got a town meeting coming up I would rather be getting information throughout the year on what might be coming up and where, how we're going to pay for it. You know, the, I, I pre presume that there will be some information about what the idea is about how to pay the big bills that mm. we think are coming. Who we, put this? Who put it? Who put it out? I the, I got something from someone from the consulting firm from GHD. Mm. Um, she's a, an engineer. Because I doubt they've been working on the five-year plan, because they need that yeah. to, to apply to the state like momentarily, right. and. So I think it would be some eyes and ears, five-year plan. I have to think that they did, given the situation, that that five-year plan is pretty comprehensive. So how do, what's the leap to the 20-year plan yeah. uh, to really ask a lot of questions? I would uh, I, I assume that on this. one of the things that we should be doing and someone is probably doing is projecting population, you know, additional homes and businesses and things like that, at least and a theory about what that might be. I know we, I don't know how accurate we can be at this point, but mm -hmm. that's certainly the kind of thing that I think a town should be doing. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think everybody knows it's going to get more difficult to get rid of waste, more expensive to get rid of waste, and trying to stay ahead of the curve, which I don't know if that's possible, but I mean, you got to There try. are new ways to not even give it away, make money off it. Yeah, yeah. So, I, before I got cut off last week, I, I had the sewer group come in here and see us monthly. I want to know what the flow is. I want to know what the, the problems are. I mean, they, they're looking for a pile of money, and they've had a record with us of not ever reporting and always the emergency. Right. And if I don't, if we, if, if we do do that, I want to know when their meetings are and 
at least one of us should be at every meeting, but we should be come. invited to every they, meeting. They put it on WCTV. You yeah. can look I, I've, at, I've at watched every one of their meetings. I, I, do, I want to be there so I can Jazz talk questions. every other Thursday night. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. But, but we, uh, we don't know how the place runs or what problems they're running into. They, and, and you see all these new, new houses going up, for crying out loud. Uh, we have, I know we don't, we, we reorganize in July, but uh, who is our liaison for the sewer? Do we have one? I don't know that we have had one. Every, every department had a liaison at one time. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not sure if it's... Mm -hmm. Very that might that something. might be a good way to, to, to keep to keep up with that when we can do our liaison mm -hmm. reports on a weekly on a, a meeting basis where we can give that information or at least once a month yeah. right mm -hmm. so I mean, we need to but to, I mean they know what their flow is every day right well I'm just saying that we uh, because they have a meeting every other Thursday if we have our liaisons are being active if we you know it would require all of us to do our parts and, and but is it, I'm assuming it's an open, oh, you said it's, it's online. Yeah. It's always open, yeah. I yeah, mean, these, these are public open. meetings. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the agenda has to be posted in advance. Um, you know, so you could go to the town website and figure out what's going to be discussed on any given, mm -hmm. at any given meeting. But I think that's something that we can probably have the liaison report on. on a, mm -hmm. And then if something comes up that we need to hear, then we can have, we can because yeah, I, I know I was a liaison for the COA in the first meeting I went to. Why are you here? <laughs> Just to listen. It was a plain I spy or anything. I mean, it was, but yeah, it, it doesn't hurt. And I'm not saying you can make every single meeting for every department no. in town, but I think the sewer is. Is no, a big one. And, that, and, and that's it's our big, I think it's one of our biggest challenges, just as you said, Jody, going forward. It's also the, the kind of money and the not only challenges. the biggest challenge, but it's the key to the town. Yeah, it sure is. Growth and otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. That school Pollution. department, um, you know, COA. Well, I'm not saying the COA, uh, well, but C I just use them for an example. CPC, CPA, uh, all those, but our liaisons are. should be, whoever's liaison, we all should be really focused in on the biggest ones. You know, mm -hmm. obviously. So wh what about, so we've got sewer school and CPC. What other? I had a police department. Police department. I've been liaison for that for a few years. Yeah, Not David Hurst. <coughs> police department's yeah. pretty, and pretty easy to go. Yeah, they don't really have meetings. No, they don't have any no, meetings. No, but you can but have a have a the chief base. Report you can talk yeah. to the chief anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He lays down what he needs, what he really wants. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always pretty helpful. Although, yeah. although going forward, if we have a construction, potential construction move of, of the, the building, police yeah, department, it would be important, that'd Dominic. Be could, no, no, yeah. no, no. One little challenge where you said, you know, a 20 year outlook. In years past, any long term advisory committee or group committee in this town, since I've been around, has always fallen apart because the people involved from the boards that are involved. They change too rapidly. Mm. Yeah. And that's been, I've seen the groups fall apart for that reason. Mm. Well, and this Even a capital plan, 10 year capital plan, I've seen that fall apart. I, I think know, my they, they fall apart because you're on it this year. Too much Your term's on. gone in three or four years. Yeah. A new person comes in, doesn't get involved. That's what I've seen happen. So I, I think that's the only challenge you have. I think my concern is the fact that this is an outside organization that's looking to have board members from the town. I, know, I worry about the possibility of a conflict of interest where we hire this company all the time. Now they're going to be our run an advisory council. So I, I, I know that'd be a question for you both, obviously. Right. Are yeah. they going to be the engineering for the firm? For 20 years. Yeah. Right. I, if, are they going to run the advisory term, council? Long term is tough. Uh, long term is tough. And then so what I, is I their runway funny. to get this done? I mean, to your point, if this is going to take five years to do a 20-year plan versus six months, right. Right. very different. Well, what, what yeah. they've said is a year-long process. Mm. Which is not unreasonable for no, that's not bad. a major point, yeah. but I, I I think probably I think your point is well taken, and it's it's probably worth showing up at the first meeting and just that's not a commitment yeah. to do everything. No. Yeah. 
-hmm. It's been to just get a feel for what's going absolutely. on. I, yeah. well, I'm absolutely. I'm here, but I'm not here next you're, week. You're so. gone. <laughs> you're gone. Going along with what Dominic said, and I understand about the turnover. I don't, I'm, don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But I think regardless of so it turned over, the school turned over, I think their problems and issues aren't going to change. That's no, right. they'd yeah. still be there. But solving yeah. them is more challenging. When but I'm saying just be there to see what's going on. Yeah, sure. But the, the, yeah. the, the, the issues they had last month are going to have going forward, mm -hmm. especially the sewer, mm -hmm. uh, the school. You know, the police, police isn't going to mm. change. CPC does what, you know, they do their thing, you know, but, you know, I'm trying to think, you know, Council on Aging, they just had a new chairman come in, you right. know, so things change here and there, but I think the <coughs> biggies, per se, yeah. not that one's more important than the other, but the ones that spend the money. Oh, municipal maintenance. Should yeah, be. and I kind yeah. of forgot absolutely. all about that. that absolutely, yeah, you're... Mm -hmm. Well, let's let's do this uh, in, in this in this regard. We ha we haven't reorganized yet, and we are probably going to get we're, we should be getting at least two new board members, uh, uh, committee members soon. Uh, I've had some nice conversations with a couple of people. Nobody has actually applied yet, but um, I've I've been you know trying to find That's people who are interested and appropriate and if you all have any ideas please pass mm -hmm. them on I will do. I will reach out to anybody um, but I think that's probably a good time to talk about something like liaison assignments does, does yeah. that sound right mm -hmm. so in July probably put it on the agenda for the reorganization night yeah mm -hmm. be a great yeah. idea okay yep absolutely I mean even if we don't have the new members it still needs to get done right so yeah we should still yeah. do when we reorganize but mm -hmm. you know and if you go on and if you go on the town website you can see all the departments just look down yeah. you might something might I forgot all about maintenance I mean and that's a biggie you're yeah, right well, I, I think the other thing is too is uh, we have so yeah. many different committees right and some of them are defunct they don't even exist yeah um, and I, I think if we're going to be assigning a liaisons we need to actually concentrate on the ones that are actual that are actually active well and if but, you but, but use it I'm, 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 I'm going to use the maintenance department, you know, let, let's say Jody's the liaison for of the maintenance, you know, I'll go and introduce myself to Dave, not that I haven't met him before, and say, you know, if, just let us, let me know what you're looking for and blah, 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 we can talk about this is the yeah, stuff that's my committee is going to be looking for. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna use the, we want to know what the usage is on the truck, what the mileage is on the truck, blah, 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 and things like that. You know, you might go into the chief and say, you know, if you're looking for lasers, he's just looking for lasers, you know, and kind of justify it. And, He'll uh, talk to you yeah. anytime. Huh? What, is, what is? Oh, I agree. They're all good about. I'm, I'm not right. disputing any of that. They're all good about. Municipal just maintenance think. isn't one that we. Uh, they don't have a committee, so it's not one no, that we would have a neither liaison. Neither police. Well, neither is a police, but they still. We but still they still have a liaison. Introduce yourself to yep. the person in charge, whoever well, the, it may be. The police have a uh, public safety. No, no, but an ombudsman or something. They have like a business yeah. office manager business. Yeah, but no, I thought they had a commission. Safety Commission. Mm. Oh, safety Commission. I'd have to. I'd have to go through the list again. Well, this. I mean, we can all but, take a yeah. look in, yeah, the, yeah. in the next I mean, few might, weeks. You know, you always think so too. Well, that's uh, not. That's not a us. Town. That's not a town. That has nothing to do with hey. us. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> no. yeah. put it out there. <laughs> don't, the, get, don't get me started don't, about that. The way the way the charters were written, there was no way. <coughs> This town, this building would ever control. <coughs> Think of them as Walt Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever? Have you they, I had to ask the question. They are rock solid. They, would, you they, like they, good, <laughs> would you like some good reading? They're rock solid. Read how they, they took over the, how the Onset and the Wayham Water Districts were created way back when at the beginning. Talk about smart. Yeah. Those guys are ironclad. Don't touch me. Read it. You'll love it. They had to I be read friends. It. They had to be friends with Walt. <laughs> I mean, it is and a, it's a read it. It's a Walt Disney deal. Yeah, it's there, there's no way around it. It's yeah. It's control, the rock solid control control everything. Control the water. Yeah. Control yeah. It's the water. Different. Control everything. It's you know a, that the Wayham fire, the Wayham fire, has more money in it, and it's in its um, reserves than the town does. Aware. I'm aware. Okay. Yeah. And there's Thank nothing you. we can do. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that is enough for us to, uh, no, to get no. into. Next, yes. next, next, next topic. Next. And next. they pay their board Who better. Who brought up fire? Oh. <laughs> next, next topic. Tom, did you have other ideas you'd like to throw out? 
Uh, well, they, I, I happen to bring my <laughs> you <prepare> your list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. reading. Um, first of all, it, and I don't know whether it got, I, I can't remember whether it was mentioned in the minutes or not, but I did mention the value of um, the uh, uh, board that runs the water district. The flow, the, the what, uh, it isn't the water district, it's the... Uh, Outflow with us. The whole area from the, from the region. Falmouth to oh, the, the water aquifer. The water flow we have running. Huh? The, the, the aquifer? Huh? The aquifer. The aquifer. The, the, well, not not so much the aquifer because it's also in, in any place that water starts and it ends up in Buzzards Bay. So it's the watershed. The watershed of of uh, this area. Mm -hmm. okay. Of this area, yep, right. which includes all these little towns, and then, and believe it or not, the watershed doesn't have lines on it that shows you where the town lines are. Um, but uh, the uh, Buzzes Bay Coalition is an excellent organization that takes responsibility and has done great work in improving the uh, uh, future of how this is all going to happen. I was there last night for your reading pleasure about the water, the state of the water in our area. So they've, they've yeah, been, it was an excellent report. They've been around for 35 years, and everyone on, I think everyone on this committee should yeah. be a member of it, only if, because of the fact that you get to know what Mattapoisett's problems are. I'll you get to right know what... Falmouth is working on on sewers, and, and you also get a guy who's the director of it, who is well connected in the state government, with the state government, the environmental pollution control. So, and I don't know, how, I don't even know how much it costs, it, uh, but you can maybe it's a hundred dollars. But it's a good way to stay tuned into what the area is doing, what the region is doing, and where they're spending the money. I, I was mentioning to Derek that they talked about, I think it's the Horseshoe Dam, that they spearheaded on behalf of Wareham to, to open up that dam. It was quite a story. And that, for them, that was the, the yeah. top, top, top subject they wanted to talk about. And, and you know, working cooperatively the with Wareham. The longest river in the waterfall, went. in yeah. the uh, watershed. And, yeah. and, and, and they, they paid they do, for it. They do great work. Yeah. They, they are... Uh, you know, they do great work. They have great programs and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm a little cautious about how I approach everything with them because they still have to come stand in front of us and ask us for money. Mm -hmm. So we do want to be cautious of how much we're putting out with them. And, and, mm -hmm. and this is in the context of CPC requests? If it's, uh, if, they're, if they're looking for money from CPC or something like that, mm -hmm. they still... And I, I just cautious us as a as a committee getting. How about the old? Oh, how about yeah. the bathhouse on Anchet Beach? Yeah, three million ducks. I. Where did that come from? Where did that money come from? I know they put a lot of money out there, and they okay. take. I I'm not saying we pay everything. They do their fair share. Mm -hmm. They're a great organization. I am not. I, I think I think what Matt's I getting at is is the risk of conflict. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we, so we just want to be cautious of how much, mm -hmm. as an as a committee that we're throwing at them. You know, I, I, you know, giving us, they give, we're giving them a lot of air time right now. And yeah. <laughs> well, individually, we make our donations to whatever we... Yeah, no, well, you're whatever you want to do. Right. right. But right. it's a good way to stay in tune with what right. the hell's happening in at least the watershed. Uh, and their yeah. State of the Water Report, yeah. I thought, was very interesting for all of us, you know, well, across we, the whole area. We could yeah. definitely look at it on, I mean, on our time, but... Yeah. Yeah. Falmouth's prob problem, yeah. problems yeah. with, with uh, uh, sewage treatment and with... Um, septic systems and things yeah. of that nature. We ought to know about it. it and it, it's it's great information, but for the sake of what's happening in these rooms, it's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at the end and of the day, they still would have to go in front of the CPC committee, in right. front of this committee, right. in town meeting. So I don't see a conflict. And, and yeah, we're all individuals. If we don't agree with what the heck they're doing, it doesn't make sense to us. We, right. we just that, say, that's that. screw you. And but you I, join I, that group. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, right. And. and I will. I will say that I, you know I'm a member of the Damien's Pantry Board, uh, Board of Directors, 
and I'm already prepared if they should ever come before us, the, this com committee in particular, I would have to recuse myself. So I think the point is mm -hmm. we don't want to get in a position where we're all supporting we were all the organization members, and we, and we, we all have to recuse ourselves. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a great point. And, uh, that, that's, I mean, that's, 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 a, good that's, point. that's I a legitimate point. I believe yeah. what Matt is getting yeah. at. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't want to have to recuse ourselves and therefore not support something that we actually sure. think is really yeah. good. Not all right. Good point. Okay, and I, ma I mentioned support of uh, of Wareham Week as a uh, thing that keeps the community tuned in, mm -hmm. and they're important. And newspapers are folding all over the place. Um, I I would use I would go after Wareham Week as a vehicle for weekly or monthly re articles about what. WCTV is doing, or what uh, um, the problems with the sewer department is, what our workflow is, what our one-year, two-year projection is. We're, we're, we're not communicating. I want everybody in the community to have access to what the hell's happening. And that's the only vehicle that I can think of. That is a vehicle for doing it. And you can also look at it first thing in the morning, and it would give you what's happened in the last 24 hours, unfortunately, is who's died and run over and things of that nature, but, um, boy, slate with budget, I want to see, I want to see quarterly, the performance against the budget, I mean, it's crazy what we, going on, I just, I, 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 you realize what's happened with the cannabis money? Went from four hundred and seventy thousand to one hundred thousand. Right. Mm -hmm. We ought to be able to know what that's happening every every month. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, 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 we, we we can track all of that because of just because of taxes coming in, can't we? I think part of that state. Huh? That part of that's the state, and the other part is is. But yeah, but we know what it was last year and how it's how it's running, things yes. of that nature. Uh, it's not. I don't. I don't think they're. I mean, they are doing less business because every community around us also has shops now. Yeah. Right. Middleborough's got another three. We got three. Very competitive. Yeah, and, and, and Bourne knocked one down for one vote. They had. There's. Yeah. Uh, so but I they, mean, they're coming back at it again. And then so. the state cut the amount of tax that the towns are receiving from the ones that are in now that they're in. Now we're going to make less off them. <laughs> but haven't we added more things that are uh, cannabis related and businesses? We have I delivery think businesses. systems and yeah, growers. Yeah, but I don't still. think those. Uh, it's a, a business that uh, we have a business that's uh, extracting oils. Um, I believe I don't know if they're running yet. Yeah, but I don't think that's open yet. We're not. Yeah, but they're only making a product. So it doesn't fall under the. They're not selling, so right. that's they're what not they're selling. not selling. So we're not going to get that extra tax. So we wouldn't, we wouldn't find yes. out. Yeah, sure. it's, it's good reading. Right. Right. It's just a business. Yeah. I mean, the first year they opened in Wareham, we got over a million dollars in tax money. Yep. But we were the last stop before Provincetown. Right. And, and everybody, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and people yeah, so. were coming from everywhere. And they were yeah. from everywhere. So and we were the last stop to the Cape. Yeah. 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 And that is yeah. two of them in Maspie, or three in Maspie, three in Hyannis. You're going to start to see mergers, and you yeah. know, we'll all end up with yeah. They're everywhere now. It, it's, it's, yeah. it's not, it was never going to be the solution to all of yeah. our no. problems. Right. No, we, I mean, you drive down 28 going into Middleborough, and there's two of them before you get to 105. Well, I would yeah. like to know how many, uh, how many, Cannabis operations we have in town. Three. Three. What, are there three? Three retail stores, three, three deliveries. Stores. Yeah. But yeah, we don't have the grower. The, the grow, what happened down in the, um, at uh, um, the dam? The industrial. Oh, oh the, I, I'm not 100% sure what happened. I know they it, backed out of the deal. But. Well, the first guys backed out. The Colorado guys backed out. And then yeah. there was, didn't somebody else coming in? Was it was going to be a grower or a processor of some sort? I don't think it ever. Well, the other processor okay. was the uh, oil extract, which is over at the old Cranberry building down on 28 there. You, you know oh, it is. You know uh, where the new Walmart that, is? Yeah, it's, it's that's over, where it's always going to be. across from it. Yeah. That next building they're redoing right after that, supposedly, I heard that's supposed to be a, a, a grow a, a grow building or business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think we're I think we're only slated to have three retail shops. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is just going to be a grow manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing comes yeah. marijuana cafes. That's down the road. Yeah, yeah. that's the state's not even well, on that, that one. And that's under a moratorium right now for us. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's, that's down the road. 
-hmm. Okay, I, I mentioned sewer, and we yeah. just got to we got to be up to date on what's going there and what their issues are. And I, with respect to the uh, town meeting that's getting pushed off, does that mean we're not going to get state funding of some of the? I I don't know what it means. I I think uh, I, I I don't know. Um, I believe that there was a push to do it before the end of the fiscal year because of not necessarily state funding, but the money that the sewer department had in reserve mm. to, that was potentially to go toward some of these. Yeah. I, well, I thought we were supposed to have an application. I would hold all by thought, July first. I would right. hold all thoughts about that until the meeting Tuesday, until the select board meets again on Tuesday. Okay. From what I understand. It was called properly, but the party that alerted us that said it wasn't called properly looked at the wrong day. <laughs> there were two meetings back to back, two different days. In the first meeting, which is the one that everybody pointed at, it wasn't called that day, but it was called during the short meeting the following day. Mm. And I don't, and so they did find it, but they've already made the call. Yeah, to the council. To the board. So I let's see where they stay. We won't yeah. know where they stand. I think until there's next a week. deadline mm -hmm. looming. I mean, we were here almost yeah. eight months ago talking about that the the plan had to be yeah. done to meet that the application. Had yeah. requirements to meet the application. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll let the select board do their thing and figure yeah. out where. We'll, it is. we'll just have to respond. To we'll just respond. Are they having a meeting next week? Originally, they were planning to have after Tuesday night's meeting. They they weren't going to do another one for two weeks. Judy Whiteside's had a death in the family. Right. Um, the fi the final thing I had on the list was I want to report on idle assets, and Thank that includes property? Parker Mills, Tremont Nail, so that whatever that combination is. What's happening to the uh, Deca School? What activities going on there? And then any other buildings that are on tax. Um, and there's been a lot of activity at the, uh, the Deacus building, a lot. Uh, I know it's been, and police have been doing training. There. I don't know if we're leasing the space to let the police departments train out of there, or hmm. if we've been just it's a, giving them the space, or... I mean, that would be a good thing to find out. I'm all for that. It might be one of those reciprocal things, though, to do training. You know, different right. police stations yeah. work together when right. they have these. I, I don't have a problem with them doing the training there at all. I just would like to know whether it's... Are we Guaranteed they're not paying for the space because it's not their budget. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's not... It's, donating the space. It's not, the, it's not just the police. I mean, we've had SWAT down there. We've had uh, First Air Wing's been in there with their uh, their training teams. So we, we're, I mean, <laughs> well, it's an empty yeah. school. It's perfect for that training. I, mean, yeah. I, 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 I saw the Black Betty that we saw over here outside the junior high school a few years back sitting out in the parking lot over there uh, a couple weeks ago. So this would really be a question for Derek. Yeah, that, I, this With, is definitely something. Both, both this and the quarterly reports mm -hmm. are questions. But really those, are, yeah, because Derek. Derek does control and all town buildings. Right. So, um, I, his purview. I, I've already, and he should be able to tell us what the hell's happened. Mm -hmm. I, I've already asked um, to have a, a you know, sort of orientation type meeting with him. I'll bring these things up and we'll see if we can't get sort of a regular. Everett rhythm. School, here's, a, here's an early graduate of Everett School for crying out loud, stayed on the, is an idle building for how long? Huh? At least 10 years, Tony. Yeah. At least I, as far as I can remember back, it's been empty. I mean, that, that's poor management. The one um, that they just sold, the Everett School, the one by on Depot. The one they auctioned oh, off for the... Uh, they uh, just sold. Head, head start. Head start. They, they got a half a million dollars for it, didn't they? Right. But yeah. it, like you said, Tom, it was idle for... Uh, they could have sold it 10 years ago if they wanted to. Yeah. Well, well, meanwhile, it's costing, it's costing us money. I mean, yeah, you got to... they wanted to deteriorate, even though yeah. property values mm -hmm. went up. I don't know if the property value went up more than the depreciation because of condition. Right, but but you were paying that. insurance, you were pay, paying. I, I think it's a very fair question. Mm -hmm. What what are we doing with our inventory? What is what is the plan? What's Again, the plan? What's, 
Yeah. There may be there may be thoughts as to what these buildings could be used for in the future, but I don't know what they are. Tremont Nail has been forever. Oh. Well, that that we know is getting the going. Parker. Yeah, the, the, well, the the Tremont Nail factory that's already that there's a um, development. a development company that we're already working with on that one. Mm -hmm. But so, isn't you know. part of it the p resolution of the Parker Dam? Yes, kind of intertwined. Yeah, that goes hand in hand. Yeah. Yep. Well, we could ask Derek. You know, maybe Derek could give us his take on the Parker Dam and the title mm -hmm. issue. Oh, well, we just we well, just had an article in town meeting about the Parker Dam. Yeah. So no. we'll, yeah. No, that that's our, that's the next step on that one. So yeah. No, we're through your through we'll your time. We'll remain positive. We'll figure that out. We'll ask for quarterly reports, Tommy. I, I, I've heard them ask. I've heard people on this board being before you ask for quarterly reports, and I haven't seen one. It's been asked a lot. Well, I think it, they might cost a lot to generate. It. If you look at what the state suggests that finance committee meetings have, it's right on there. I think it's a fair question. I, uh, I right. absolutely do. Mm -hmm. We have limited control over whether we get the things we ask for. But I think it's been requested. I think it's many worth times. asking, and, and I will. We're an after the. Fa we're getting it a everything <laughs> after the fact. We're getting it very late when we yeah, don't we have a lot of time to digest, ask yeah. questions. Right. Yeah, that's, I, that's fair. We want to be able to anticipate rather than yeah. react. Is that okay? That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right. What else? <laughs> he's right. getting, he's getting that adjourned. He's it's, getting it's right. a lot to think about. Oh, 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 I, I, no. um, I, I will say uh, on, on the next meeting time and date, uh, obviously not May 24th, um, which... To be determined? Yeah, yeah, I, I, the Yes, to be determined with this caveat. I understand that we may need to do end-of-year transfers, end-of-fiscal year transfers, so I would like for everyone to have June 28th, Wednesday, June 28th on your calendar mm -hmm. uh, in case we do need to have a meeting then in particular. So no meeting till that far away? Well, I don't, I'm not saying... Okay. I, we have to see what happens. We need to see what's going no, Nothing is scheduled. Right now, nothing is scheduled. We, we, we are, I am talking to people about potentially uh, filling the open spots on this committee, in which case we might want to have them come in and address us and, you know, get a chance to ask questions. Um, before they go to the appointing authority. Reorganize. And we'll need to reorganize, but that should happen probably in after July. After the fact, yeah. Yeah, in July. Yeah. So I would say there's very likely to be one more meeting before June 28th. I hope I hope we have actual applicants for, because it's rough, you know, being on the verge of not having a quorum if people just, a couple of people can't make it. You know, that's not a good position to be in. So um, that's all I have. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. We go home. No more congratulations.